He could have won the game for his team. But instead, Kobe Bryant airballed four straight shots. And after that performance, a lot of people started to think that he wasn't clutch. But to understand how it got to this point, you would have to start from the beginning. Kobe Bryant started off as just a young kid with a hoop dream, just like everybody else. But there was one problem. He just wasn't good enough. Everybody around him at the time was more athletic than him. Now, if this was any other kid in the world, they would have quit. Easily. I mean, just getting beat up on every day could really destroy all of your confidence. But Kobe used this to his advantage. He was getting exposed every time he played against these better players. And they really were just exposing the areas in his game that he needed to work on. And although he wasn't able to beat them during that moment, as time went along, he became better than those guys. And by the time he got to high school, he was just on a different level. He averaged 31 points, 12 rebounds, and 7 assists a game. He was just unguardable, to the point that every college coach in the country wanted him on their team. But Kobe had different plans. He respected the college scene because he was a scholar all throughout high school. But basketball was his dream. He felt that he could always go back to college, but the time to prove himself in the NBA was now. So he made the decision. He was drafted into the NBA right out of high school. He felt like the sky was the limit for him now. But unfortunately for Kobe, nothing was going as planned. Even though Kobe had a lot of potential, he rode the bench for majority of his rookie year. But it wasn't like he wasn't good enough. It was just that his coach at the time believed that the older players should get most of the minutes. He was one of those real old school coaches, so the young guys had to wait their turn. This decision was tough on Kobe at the time. All of his friends that were in the same draft class as him was getting like 30 to 40 minutes a night, but he was barely getting any playing time. It made him question was going to the league right out of high school a mistake. Now around the same time he was questioning himself, something happened that changed his career almost overnight. Even though Kobe wasn't playing a lot, the Lakers were still good enough to make it to the playoffs. And it was during this time where Kobe really got the chance to prove himself. It was during the Western Conference semifinals, and they were facing off against the Utah Jazz. The Utah Jazz was hot at the time, with John Stockton and Karl Malone on the team. They had their eyes on one thing, the NBA Finals. So they were really on a different level than the Lakers. The Jazz went up 3-1 against the Lakers, and they were ready to close out the series. But for Game 5, Kobe and the Lakers weren't going down without a fight. The game was very competitive and it really came down to the last couple of minutes. But the most unexpected thing happened to the Lakers. One of their star players, Byron Scott, was out for injury. Another star player, Robert Horry, was kicked out of the game for fighting. And another star player, Shaquille O'Neal, had fouled out of the game. Everything was going wrong for the team. So Kobe Bryant was their last resort. He was the only one that could give them a chance. They believed in him. But unfortunately, things just didn't work out. Towards the end of the game, Kobe Bryant was trusted to win the game for his team. But instead, he airballed four straight shots. He let his team down. And most importantly, he let himself down. It was one of the most embarrassing moments of his life. Being an 18-year-old kid, he now had the whole world talking bad about him. And it really started to mess with his confidence. This one moment almost destroyed his career. But instead of moping around and feeling sorry for himself, he immediately got back to work. Right after the game, the Lakers caught their flight back to LA. Their season was over, so everybody was ready to get back home and relax. Probably watch some movies with their families and just chill after a long stressful season. But Kobe Bryant had other things in mind. They arrived at the airport close to midnight, and Kobe immediately went to the gym. He went to a local high school and convinced one of the janitors to let him in. And after he got in, he just worked on his jumper all night. Those air balls really exposed his weaknesses. He just wasn't ready for prime time yet. So with the whole world doubting him, and without having an offseason, he started to work on all the things he wasn't good at. And eventually, he just became unstoppable. He used this embarrassing moment to push him to greatness. And he went on to win five championships. 
Now, instead of worrying about those air balls, we focus on how much of a legend he is. Peace.